Welcome to A Waste of Time production. My name is Neil and this is my Roman kitchen where today I'm going to make pasta e ceci, an Italian thick and wonderful soup. Um, ceci is Italian for garbanzo beans, which is also known as chickpeas in the States. And um, the nice thing about this is that jarred chickpeas uh, or canned um, hold up very well. So this is a very easy recipe. And what I have going on right now is about a third a cup of extra virgin olive oil and four cloves of garlic that are sautéing here. And once they turn golden, I'll take them out. And right now, I'll tell you what the ingredients are for this soup. In addition to the oil and garlic, we'll have a fresh sprig of rosemary, about a cup of puree of tomatoes. We'll also have about a half a pound of pasta, four cups of vegetable broth, about a tablespoon of butter, some Parmesan at the end, and salt and pepper. Now that these are a nice shade of uh, gold, I'm going to turn the heat down remove them, and then add my sprig of rosemary. I'm also going to add that cup of tomato puree. Give it a nice stir. Be careful of the hot oil. And we'll let this simmer on low heat for about 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes now, so I'm going to add the chickpeas that I drained and rinsed. And what you want to do now is just um, give them a good turn through the olive oil and tomato mix. The rosemary is still in there, and we'll let this simmer for about 5 minutes. Okay, now um, I've got the broth in the back on about medium heat. I've taken a cup out. What I'm going to do now is add a cup of broth to the chickpea mixture, cover it, and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. These have been simmering for 15 minutes, so I'm going to take out the sprig of rosemary. And I'm also going to take out about a third of the chickpeas and blend those with the garlic I fried in the beginning of the recipe. So, nothing scientific here. You don't need to measure these out. Just eyeball it about a third. And you'll probably need a little bit of the broth so it blends nicely. Little liquid. So take that out of your uh, pot and back here. And I'll add the garlic as well. Okay, and I'll be right back with this uh, blended up. I'm going to add it to the pot here. And since it's hard to get everything out, I'm going to add the broth to this uh, blender pitcher to try to get out the, all the good bits. So carefully uh, throw this in. Stir it up a bit if you like. and give that a good mix. And what I want to do now is uh, bring this to a boil with the cover on, and once I do that, I'm going to add the pasta. Okay, this is at a vigorous boil here, so to speak, and we'll add the pasta. And remember, this is a small tubular pasta, and um, it, it'll complement the size of the chickpea um, later. So I'll throw that in. Give it a good uh, mix. Cover it up. And the box says 11 minutes, but actually we're going to start checking it after about 5 or 6 minutes for al dente. Okay, this has been about 6 or 7 minutes, so I'm going to give it a try to see if it's al dente. And as you can see, this is a pretty thick soup, as I mentioned earlier. And if you want it at this point, you could add a little bit more water. That's good. So I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to add the butter and the cheese. I'm 
This is about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And after this is mixed in, I'll taste it for uh, seasoning. So I have some sea salt and fresh pepper here. Never hurts to add a little extra pepper. Just a little bit of salt. Mix it up one last time. Throw it in the bowl, and as you can see again, it's fairly sick. Sick. <laughs> that was fun. I didn't. I didn't even catch that. <laughs> As you can see, it's very thick soup. And the last thing you want to do is give it a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And that's it. Pasta e ceci. Buon appetito.